Hi, I'm Lisa Hunter, Families USA's Senior Director for Strategic Partnerships. We're living in unprecedented times. The coronavirus pandemic has thrown American families into a healthcare and economic crisis. Our national and specifically state and local partners play a critical role in responding to COVID-19. They're working across the country to treat patients, to care for those affected, and to support communities during these uncertain times. To ensure that help reaches those who need it most, Families USA is standing with partners to urge Congress to focus on three key priorities in its next relief package. First, access to comprehensive, affordable health coverage for workers and families who have lost their employer-sponsored coverage due to pandemic-prompted layoffs and furloughs. Second, fiscal relief for states to staff pandemic response, save jobs, and help hard-pressed families. And third, comprehensive efforts to test, trace, and quarantine individuals in order to reopen the U.S. economy and keep families safe. Ensuring families have access to health coverage is a key element to any COVID-19 response. We are seeing alarming numbers of individuals losing their income and their employer-sponsored insurance at the same time. The growing coverage loss will worsen disease spread and financial crisis for families that seek care when they need it most. That's why Congress must provide $600 million in funding for consumer assistance to link families to coverage and care that they need. Broaden premium tax credits and fully subsidized COVID coverage offered to laid off workers and support states' ability to finance and expand Medicaid, including COVID-19 treatment to all those in need, regardless of geography or immigration status. States and localities need fiscal relief now. They're losing revenue at the same time as their resources are urgently needed, not only to staff pandemic response and sustain healthcare services, but also to save jobs and support families hit hardest by the recession. Together with partners, we urge Congress to include in its next relief package two key components, a significant increase in federal matching rates for Medicaid to alleviate state budgets from the influx of newly enrolled individuals, and flexible funding to arm states and localities with the resources to guard against revenue losses and spending increases triggered by the recession. Providing fiscal relief to states allows states to address equity because we know this pandemic has disproportionately impacted America's most vulnerable communities. Finally, reopening the economy cannot happen without robust testing, contact tracing, and quarantining. We've watched as states competed against one another for everything from ventilators to PPE. Without a coordinated strategy and sufficient investment at the state and local levels, we're on a path to repeating the same, every state for themselves, chaos when it comes to testing and preventing pandemic spread. With our partners, we urge Congress to provide at least $3.7 billion in emergency supplemental funding to the CDC for contact tracers, with a focus on communities at greatest risk of COVID-19 outbreaks and those that lack the ability to stand up robust efforts on their own. COVID-19 has upended the lives of American families in ways we never thought possible. Together with our partners, Families USA is calling on the President and Congress to put people above partisanship and to deliver on the needs of families to protect their health and their well-being. I'm Lisa Hunter with Families USA. Thanks for watching.